Hello and welcome to another Stephen Mendes video. Here I have an analog circuit trainer and I wanted to tell you about it today but before I do I wanted to say that when I was looking for this to be able to let you get it and order yours I discovered that the global specialties have a PB503 which is a combined digital and analog trainer and uh, you would be able to do that and get all the functionality of both trainers at a considerable saving in cost. We do not have those at the university so I cannot demonstrate them and these are older model analog trainers which are probably no longer available but you get the essence of what you need for analog work as I come closer and I show you what is included in this trainer. You have your usual breadboard on which you can build your circuits and you have the positive and negative supply rails as I told you for power to your op amps and other circuits. But you also have up here variable positive and negative supplies. Very essential when you're performing your testing. You have these variable uh, sources here that you can adjust between 0 and 7.5 and volts and they are short circuit protected and you have a little light to indicate whether uh, you have a short or not on your positive and negative supply. So this is 0 to 7.5 and of course we down here we have the conventional 12, it was 12 not 15 plus and minus 12 volts. Now we also have BNC connectors which go directly here so that you can uh, interface to your oscilloscope or external equipment without having to use probes if you want to. And uh, we have down here uh, pots, uh, unconnected un pots which come up here to three terminals. So you can use pots in any part of your circuit uh, while you're trying to experiment to get your parameters right or whatever or if your calculations don't come out right you can stick in a pot and they're heavy duty and then you can easily make your measurements, your pot measurements and replace it with fixed resistors as you choose. Now one of the pots is 100k and the other one is 10k. You also have two SPDT switches here that go up here so you can have the benefit of switching parts of your circuit in or out and you can wire it as you choose. Of course you have a function, a completely built on function generator which is suitable for analog work. It has digital, sorry it has triangle, square and sine wave and then it also has a TTL wave which of course is from 0 to 5 volts, a square wave from 0 to 5 volts. And although the frequency is not adjustable on this particular one, there are two um, connectors where you can stick in an external capacitor and change the frequency to whatever you want. So you can change the frequency range and vary it by using external components. So that sort of concludes our overview of the analog circuit trainer. Of course, the analog circuit trainer along with the digital circuit trainer prepares you for all your wonderful projects that I'm going to bring to you in the future and so you can build them easily using only hookup wire and a strippers and of course a needle nose pliers to insert the wire into the holes. Now why would you um, want a circuit trainer? Well, uh, you're saving money for one thing the cost of the circuit trainer is going to be less than if you buy a, a, a standard function generator, a lab dual power supply and all the other parts separately and of course the convenience and portability of being able to move with and demonstrate your circuits is a plus and uh, really at the price that the analog digital trainers, there are several models on Amazon including the uh, PB503 which are by Global Specialties which I just told you about you can check them out and pick the one that's right for you but basically one investment in a good circuit trainer is all you really need and you're well on your way to do-it-yourself synthesizer modules 
we can actually build, use some op amps and build some amplifiers, voltage control amplifiers, filters and oscillators as uh, projects and you can build them on your trainer and then if you want to uh, etch the boards or put them into more permanent form, you can do that. But the beauty of the trainer is that for very little cost you can indulge your electronics hobby and build many many different circuits um, easily so that you can quickly get a feel for the art of electronics. Thank you for watching the Stephen Mendes channel and we look forward to seeing you soon again in another exciting electronics video.